I have often wondered, Bastila, why the dark side is seen as inherently malicious. Is it not, after all, merely an aspect of the Force? A tool that reflects the one who wields it? An aspect that leads to suffering? Yes. It feeds on fear, anger, hatred. All the very things that poison the heart. It warps the wielder's soul, and that's why it can't be seen as just a mere tool, Kraya. Does it feed, or is it fed upon? I wonder if we've not confused the vessel for the substance. Do we attribute the bitterness of the fruit to the tree that bore it, or the soil in which it was planted? If we scrutinize this metaphor further, is it not more accurate to say that the dark side is the soil, nurturing what has been planted within it, for better or for worse? The tree is the product of its soil, just as we are the products of our choices. The dark side does not merely exist, it is chosen. It's an active decision, a step that's taken willingly into the abyss. Ah, but where do those choices come from? Are they not often born fear, or anger, or desperation? Is it not the circumstances that drive one to the dark side, not the dark side itself? We've both seen what fear and desperation can do to a person. Indeed, you felt the allure of the dark side yourself, haven't you? Yes, I fell. But I returned. Those who choose the dark side, though, they're not victims. They are willing participants. They choose to let their emotions rule them. I chose to let mine rule me then, but I learned. I learned the importance of control. That choice, though, is it not often made because they believe they have no other... If the soil is poor, will the tree not grow bitter fruit, no matter how noble the seed? You had felt lost, threatened. Your love for Revan and fear for his life led you to momentarily embrace the darkness, but eventually you found your way back. That may be so, but it does not absolve them. Or me, the Jedi teaches us to rise above our circumstances, to choose the right path even when it is hard. And even when everything seems hopeless, there is always another way. The path of darkness is easy, tempting, but it is not the only path. But even the Jedi, in their wisdom, have created victims, have they not? It is a curious thing, this cycle of light and dark. It seems we are drawn to it, like a moth to a flame. Why, I wonder... Could it be because we see some part of ourselves reflected in a force? Perhaps the Jedi and Sith are not so different as they appear. Perhaps because we are more than just vessels of the force. We are thinking, feeling beings. We love, we fear, and we hate. It is in our nature to seek power, to protect those we love and vanquish those we fear. The force is simply an instrument of our will, be it light or dark. And so... The Force merely mirrors us. It is not the darkness within it that corrupts, but the darkness within ourselves. But what if we used our darkness, our fear, our anger, not to harm, but to protect, to strengthen? Is it then still dark? That's a dangerous line of thought, Kraya. It suggests that there's no difference between light and dark, that they're just... different paths... But we've seen the damage that the dark side can do. We've lived it. Are they not? Is it not the traveler who determines the journey, not the path itself? Consider this. If all paths lead to the Force, does it not stand that the Force itself is neither light nor dark, but merely a canvas upon which we paint our desires and fears? My study of the Sith holocrons taught me this. The Force doesn't discriminate between light and dark. It's a tempting idea, Kraya, but it's not that simple. The dark side isn't just a path, it's a maelstrom. It's destructive, and it tears apart the very fabric of life. It consumes unlike the light side which nurtures. And yet, life persists, even in the dark. Perhaps that is 
the true nature of the Force. An endless cycle of creation and destruction, light and despair, each feeding the other, each necessary for the other's existence. Just as you cannot understand joy without sorrow, light cannot exist without the dark. Prayer, your words seem to hover in a grey area. They make me question your allegiance. Is this your attempt at testing me, or are you trying to manipulate my understanding of the Force? Am I, or am I merely challenging your perspectives? Understanding the Force is not a matter of allegiance, Bastila. It's a matter of insight. What you call manipulation, I call enlightenment. Enlightenment. It feels more like seduction, leading one to consider the unthinkable. The dark side, as you've described it still seems no less treacherous. Treacherous, yes. But inevitable too, wouldn't you agree? For light and dark to coexist, there must be an understanding of both. But if we only understand one, if we deny or fear the other, then we are blind. Being aware of the dark doesn't mean we have to embrace it. We can recognize its dangers and choose the light, as I did when I fell, and returned. Ah, but in your fall... Did you not gain something? A deeper understanding? A new perspective? Your fall and redemption? Did it not make you stronger? Did it not give you the knowledge to resist the darkness? To master it rather than being mastered by it? That's not true. It doesn't justify the pain, the fear, the suffering caused. The dark side isn't a stepping stone to power, Kreia. It's a descent into chaos. Ah, oh, but therein lies the crux. Does it not? Can one truly understand light without the context of darkness? Can peace be truly appreciated without the experience of conflict? Your own journey provides an answer. The key, perhaps, lies not in avoiding the darkness, but in learning how to navigate through it, to use it, but not be consumed by it. Your words... They provoke thought, Kriya. They present a viewpoint that doesn't align entirely with what the Jedi teach about the Force. And isn't it a worthy exercise, Bastila, to examine the principles we take for granted? We are not mere conduits of the Force, but its interpreters. We shape its light and dark through our understanding, through our choices. Perhaps, in acknowledging this, we might find a deeper understanding of ourselves. And the Force... But now, Bastilla, surely you sense it too. There are those amongst us, unseen but present, who listen to our dialogue from a place far beyond our galaxy. They bear witness to our discourse and ponder, alongside us, the mysteries of the Force. Indeed, Kraya. To you, the unseen observers who exist beyond our reality, we acknowledge your presence. We invite you to engage in our contemplation, to challenge your own understanding, as we have ours. So we ask you, unseen listeners, what is the dark side to you? Is it merely an embodiment of fear and anger, a pit of despair, or could it be something more? A path of wisdom, perhaps, steeped in understanding and resilience? Reflect upon it, as we have. Is it a maelstrom of chaos, tearing apart the fabric of life? Or can there be life within the dark, persisting even flourishing amidst adversity? Perhaps in your contemplation you may find your own answers, ones that we, bound by our reality, might never reach. In the echo of our words, in the silence that follows, may you find your truth. In the spirit of unity and understanding, we invite you, our unseen friends, to share these reflections with others. Let our discourse resonate throughout your galaxy. Extend your support, engage with our dialogue, amplify our voices. Subscribe, like, share. May the Force guide us all.